Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking with Chef Rich. Today we're going to be making some pan fried potatoes. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell, and please leave your comments down below. Anyway, so we're going to be doing some uh, pan fried potatoes. I'm using what they call fingerling potatoes, red ones. I've already washed them. Potatoes are generally speaking very dirty, so make sure you do a good, good job washing. The first step we're gonna do is we're gonna boil these for about 10 minutes. We're gonna just put them in a pot. We're gonna cover it with water. So my potatoes are just covered with, with water. Maybe just a half an inch above. We're gonna bring it up to a boil. Once it starts to boil, I'm gonna boil them for probably eight to 10 minutes. I will show you what they look like when they come off. See you soon. Potatoes have been cooking for right about 12 minutes now. So if you take a knife, you don't want it to be totally tender, but it goes in somewhat easy. So we are gonna be pan frying them. If it goes in real easy, they're probably overcooked. You want them cooked like three quarters of the way. So I'm gonna let them cool for a few minutes and then I'll show you what to do next. Hi everyone. So our potatoes drained. They're a little bit cool just so I can work with them. I'm gonna be cutting them all in half, just directly in half. And uh, at least two of them, I'm just going to be cutting the ends off because I need that. I didn't actually realize that. This, these are, uh, I believe they're Peruvian potatoes. Anyway, I'm going to be cutting all these in half, just like so. So our potatoes are cut in half, and I have a pan on. So I'm going to get this hot. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in here. So once our pan is hot, we're gonna take our potatoes and we're gonna put them face down. It can be a little bit hotter, but that's fine. But you really wanna put them face down, that, that way they'll get nice and crisp on the bottom. They'll get a beautiful golden brown and be nice and crisp when these are done. So our potatoes have been cooking now for right about five minutes, I'd say. And uh, I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a toss. You can use a spoon or a tongs. If you look over here, like this is nice and brown. It's hard to tell because of the color, but it is actually nice and crisp. The rest of them I'm gonna turn over so the bottom gets crisp and cook that for about three to five minutes. So our potatoes are brown on both sides. I've been stirring it every now and then. So you'll see that they're nice and crisp. Next thing we're gonna do, I just turned down the flame a little bit, or I actually turned it off a minute ago, just to cool down the pan. Because the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be sauteing some garlic. I don't think I ever went through the actual ingredients. I have some chopped garlic, I have some paprika, I have some fresh rosemary that I chopped up. If you don't have fresh rosemary, feel free to use some uh, dried rosemary, just a little bit. I have a little salt, pepper, and some water. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna take the garlic and I wanna saute it. I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil to get it sauteing. Because the potatoes have actually absorbed all the oil. Saute it for just a couple of seconds. While this is sauteing, I'm gonna add some salt. And the salt is just to taste. A little bit of pepper. You don't want to brown the garlic. Next, I'm gonna add the paprika and rosemary. And lastly, I'm gonna put in just literally two tablespoons of water just to mix it through. Take one out, try it. And it's 
real good. Uh, I'm gonna put on a plate and I'll show you what it looks like. So our roast potatoes are done. I put them in a bowl just so you can see what they look like. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thank you and be safe.